Moths are a common household problem in both pantries, where they feast on grains and cereals, and closets, where they're attracted to wool, silk, and other fabric. Getting rid of moths for good requires a two-pronged approach. First treat the immediate moth issue using moth traps, vinegar solutions, and thorough cleaning, then use preventative measures like mothballs and proper storage techniques to make sure the moths don't come back. How to get rid of moths Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about gardening tips and pest control methods like this. So you're here for the first time. Maybe it's a good idea to subscribe. Also, click the bell icon so that you receive notifications on my new upload. Part 1. Getting rid of moths in the closet. 1. Know the signs. If you've seen a moth or two fluttering around but aren't sure if you have an all-out infestation, look for these signs. Tiny holes in your sweaters or other items of clothing. If you see holes in one sweater, you'll probably find more. Check all of your clothes made with wool, feathers, fur, and silk. Clothing that looks dusty or discolored or has a musty smell. Webbing in corners of the closet or on clothing. 2. Set out moth traps. To take care of the immediate problem of moths in your closet, trap them with pheromon moth traps, which attract and kill them with a sticky substance that they can't escape once they touch. You can make your own moth traps with flypaper and fish oil, which attracts moths. Dab a bit on some flypaper and hang it in your closet. Traps designed to catch mice are also effective for catching moths. In particular, look for zapper-style traps with infrared sensors, as these will sense the moth approaching and zap it when it nears the bait. 3. Wash your clothes. It's important to wash every item of clothing to get rid of eggs the moths may have laid. Wash the items according to their care instructions. If possible, put them through a hot dryer. Items that cannot be dried on high heat can be placed in the freezer for a few days to kill any eggs. Wash linens, towels, and any other cloth items stored in your closet. Remove suitcases, bags and other containers and wash these as well. 4. Clean the closet. Now that everything has been removed from your closet, it's time to scour it from top to bottom to get rid of moth eggs that might still be lurking there. Use soapy water or a vinegar and water solution to clean the closet floor and walls. Dip a sponge scrubber into the solution and scrub the walls to scratch off all the eggs. Clean especially well in cracks and crevices. Vacuum well. Use a high-powered vacuum to clean the carpet in your closet. While you're at it, vacuum the bedroom area too, since moths may have laid eggs there. Part 2. Preventing future infestations in your closet. 1. Brush clothing made from wool. Brush clothing made from wool, fur or feathers after you wear it. Moth eggs usually enter closest by way of clothing that has been worn outside. 2. Keep your clothing clean. Moths are attracted to wool, but they are especially apt to enter your closet if your clothing has stains from food and other items that they like to eat. Make sure you wash your clothes before hanging them up. Dry clean wool items before storing them. 3. Store clothing properly. Clothes you don't wear often, especially wool winter clothing, should be stored in an airtight place. Protect wool coats and sweaters with plastic bags. Store winter clothing in plastic storage bags, plastic bins, or airtight metal containers. 4. Keep your closet cool and well ventilated. Moths are attracted to humid spaces, so it's important to keep the air circulating and on the cool side so they don't decide to nest there. 5. Air out your clothing often. Let your wool items get some sun, especially if you're taking them out at the beginning of fall or winter after they've been in storage. 6. Use cedar in your closet. Moths are repelled by cedar, so it's a good idea to hang wool items on cedar hangers. You can also purchase ball-shaped pieces of cedar to hang in your closet or fill a sachet bag with cedar chips and hang it up. Try placing cedar-scented items in the pockets of your wool items for extra protection. 
7. Try mothballs. Try mothballs are a natural alternative. Placing mothballs in your closet is an effective way to kill moths, but the chemicals mothballs are made with are toxic to humans and they leave a strong scent in your closet and on your clothes. Try these alternatives. Sachets made with dried rosemary, thyme, cloves, lavender, or bay leaves. Simply fill a small cloth bag with these ingredients, tie it with a string, and hang it up. Essential oils made from these herbs can be sprinkled in your closet or on your clothing as an effective moth deterrent. 8. Call an exterminator. For extreme cases, call an exterminator. Moth problems can usually be solved with these simple solutions, but if you find that moths keep returning, they may be laying eggs in a place you can't reach with a vacuum or sponge. Call a pest control professional to fumigate the area and kill the moth eggs. Part 3. Getting rid of moths in the kitchen. 1. Know the signs. Moths leave behind secretions, webbing and other signs of their presence. You probably have an infestation if you notice these signs. Food items that are stuck together or seem slightly sticky. This could be caused by moth secretions. Food items that smell musty or off, even if they haven't reached their expiration date or been exposed to conditions that would make them stale. Light webbing around boxes or bags in your pantry. The presence of caterpillars or full-grown moths in your pantry is a sure sign that it's time to take action. 2. Throw away the infested food. Don't try to save it. It's not healthy to eat food infested by moths. Toss out the following items. Bulk food items, such as grains, nuts, and rice, should be thrown away since moths eat and lay their eggs in these foods. Moths can eat through cardboard boxes. If you see tiny holes in your pantry items, throw them out. Moths can also get into tiny spaces. Anything that has been opened before, even a plastic bag of chocolate chips or nuts, should probably be tossed. Dispose of food in a sealed garbage bag and remove it from your house immediately. 3. Trap the moths. If there are still moths left in your kitchen after you've thrown away their food sources, set out pheromone moth traps to attract and kill them with a sticky substance that they can't escape once they touch. Throw away the traps in a sealed container once you've caught all the moths in your kitchen. 4. Scour the kitchen. Now that you've addressed the immediate problem, it's time to clean the kitchen from top to bottom, focusing on the pantry to get rid of any eggs the moths may have left behind. Use soapy water or vinegar and water solution as your detergent. You can also use a stronger chemical cleaner. Dip a sponge scrubber or steel wool into the solution and scour the cabinets, pantry, and other corners and cracks in your kitchen. Make sure you really scrub the surfaces to make sure the moth eggs are removed. 5. Consider calling a pest control professional. If moths reappear after you've taken these measures, they may be laying eggs in the walls or another place you can't get to with a sponge. Make an appointment with an exterminator who will use heavy-duty products to get rid of the problem. Part 4. Preventing future infestations in your kitchen. 1. Examine your food sources. Moths usually enter kitchens by way of food that is already infested. Bulk items like oatmeal, dried grains or nuts may have eggs on them when you bring them home. However, even food that has been packaged and sealed can bring in moth eggs. 2. Place items in the freezer. Place items in the freezer when you bring them home. You don't have to stop buying bulk food items, try putting them in the freezer to kill any eggs they might contain before placing them in your pantry. Simply clear a place in the freezer and store the food there for 3 to 4 days before using it as usual. 3. Store food in airtight containers. Proper food storage is probably the best preventative measure you can take. Choose glass or plastic containers for bulk food items. Make sure they have tight-fitting lids. Instead of putting half-used boxes and bags of non-perishable items back into the pantry, pour the remaining food into sealable containers. Moths can eat right through cardboard and light plastic. 
4. Control temperature and humidity. Moths thrive in warm, humid temperatures, so if your kitchen is often on the muggy side, you may be creating an inviting home for moths. Keep windows and doors closed when your air conditioner is running. Make sure the pantry and food storage areas are well ventilated. 5. Seal cracks and crevices. There are a lot of great hiding places for moths in a kitchen. Do your best to seal off the places you aren't able to regularly clean, like cracks in the back of the pantry, spaces between shelving and the wall, and cracks where cabinets attach to the wall. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from Guardian's Choice Official.